Fragrant Nomad. I'm back with another comparison and contrast kind of video between three perfumes. Before I get started, thank you so much for joining me. And if you think about it, you can always hit the subscribe button and maybe hit on that thumbs up too if you like what you're watching or gonna watch. And maybe if you're feeling a little aggressive and want to take it out on that bell, just blast that baby. See what happens. All right, so today's video is a compare and contrast between three perfumes, like I said. The first one is the House of Siage, the Mickey Mouse Special Edition. This bottle, come on. That was one of the main reasons I bought the damn thing. And Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess. This is the, I think it's the 2014 edition that I have, but as I understand it, and as, as I've experienced smelling other bronze goddesses, because there's one released, I think, every year, at least there was, um, for quite some time. They smell very similar. I don't know if it's just the bottle that changes, but I didn't see a lot of difference between them. So there is that. So Bronze Goddess, Mickey Mouse, and then Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. And the reason why I chose these three is because these are three perfumes that I have that on Fragrantica people said that Mickey Mouse smells the most similar to. And I thought, well, I'll just do a compare and contrast. Because honestly, I haven't done a review of the Mickey Mouse one because I struggle with it. Um, it's not worth the money as far as the juice goes. The bottle is exceptional. I'm not even a big Mickey Mouse fan. I was never a Disney cartoon kind of person. I went to Disneyland as a kid and I dug it. But my favorite part was the Haunted Mansion. That was my absolute favorite part. We went a couple of times to that. Um, but I never really bonded with any of the Disney characters much. I'm more of a, a Bugs Bunny and Scooby-Doo girl. That's what I was cutting my teeth on when I was a little kid. And to this day, I, I love them. <laughs> You're never too old to watch cartoons. Also, one of my favorite cartoons of all time is Finding Nemo. I digress. Um, anyway, so it wasn't even the Mickey Mouse. It was the, the contrasting colors, the shiny on the top, sparklies. The unique bottle, that's what really got my interest. I'm really interested in the Wonder Woman um, one as well, but I'm now that I have the Mickey Mouse, I'm less inclined to pop for the Wonder Woman because I think they are more about the bottle than the perfume, to be really honest with you. I think that is their, their uh, promotional model that they're using because the juice is really substandard to any other juices that I've smelled of theirs. It's not bad, but it's nothing spectacular in my opinion. The bottle is, the juice is not. So anyway, so I thought I'd go ahead and kind of, so nobody else makes the same mistake, even though I did not buy this retail. I got it um, for a crazy discount, like, shoot, almost a third of the price. So I was okay with popping for it. And since then, somebody else really nice from eBay, when I bought some samples from them, just threw in a couple extra samples and this was one of them. So I was able to, to um, absolutely say after I purchased it, that it was the real juice. So it came in a box and everything, but the box wasn't sealed. So there was always a mystery whether it was the true juice and it is, but that doesn't change anything doesn't make me like it anymore anyway so and just the comparison of these three kind of gives you an idea of where this perfume is going if you've ever smelled these two but there are some really uh, specific differences that I want to talk about boy that was a long intro or as one of my favorite youtubers Casper Sight, he uh, reacts to scary videos and he does some 
some paranormal investigations of his own. He's hilarious. He cracks me up. He's this wonderful British guy. Anyway, he would say, maximum introduction, please. So there you go. <laughs> Let's get started. So I had sprayed all three of them on earlier in the day so that I could really tell you about the deep dry down differences because that's where they really part ways, all three of them. So I'm gonna respray them so I can uh, refresh my memory on the top notes. So I've got Mickey Mouse here. I've got Tom Ford here. I know they're kind of close together, but what are you gonna do? And then I have Bronze Goddess um, by Estee Lauder here. Well, I'm gonna tell you the notes first. I, I was kind of deciding if I wanted to tell you the differences first or tell you the notes, but I think it would make more sense if I tell you the notes of these three perfumes first. And I'm lazy, so I'm going off of Fragrantica. I didn't look them each up on their own websites. So the accuracy of the note pyramid is in question at all times. There's the caveat. All right. So the Mickey Mouse by House of Siage is cardamom, bergamot, mandarin orange, coconut milk, orange blossom, cacao, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, and amber. And I tell you, I get only about half of those notes with this. It is all about the cardamom, bergamot, a little bit of the mandarin orange, the coconut milk, a little bit of the orange blossom, a little bit of the vanilla and sandalwood. I don't get tonka bean, amber, cacao. Um, it, it's, it's tartar than I thought it would be. At the beginning of these three, it's actually the sweetest because Tom Ford's takes about five to 10 minutes to really start introducing you to its top notes. It smells a little, a little cacophonous. Is that a word? Uh, 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 chaotic. Um, not, you can tell when you first smell it, that's not where it's going to land. It's just some kind of weirdness that happens at the beginning to me. But just for like five, 10 minutes. And the Estee Lauder one kind of goes through the same thing. It has that same kind of chaotic menagerie of notes that aren't really awful, but they're not really appealing. And they make no sense for the first five or 10 minutes. Whereas the House of Siage, Mickey Mouse, you do see where it's going right away. You get the bergamot, I don't know about the mandarin orange. If it said bitter orange, I might agree to that. Um, you get definitely the coconut milk, a little bit of the vanilla, but it's really a lot of bergamot, coconut milk to me, um, and sandalwood at the very beginning, which makes it kind of tart smelling. And then the cardamom starts coming in, which really warms it up. But I never get a tropical vibe necessarily from this perfume. It is a perfume that would be good for warm weather, but I don't get tropical per se. And the Bronze Goddess Eau Fraiche Skin Scent by Estee Lauder is bergamot, orange, mandarin orange, lemon, Tahitian tear flower, um, orange blossom, jasmine, lavender, magnolia, coconut milk, sandalwood, vanilla, vetiver, myrrh, and amber. And this one, this one I never really warmed up to. I expected to love it because it's supposed to be this wonderful tropical, iconic kind of a perfume. But I do notice it's one of those kimchi perfumes. You either love it or you hate it kind of thing. There's not a lot of middle of the road with it, except for in my case. I'm kind of middle of the road with it. Um, it doesn't, it's not something, um, I would never wear, but it's not something I ever reach for. And I think it's because it comes across more for me. Now, this isn't the votes on Fragrantica. They're saying it's about the coconut, the tiara, and the sandalwood. I disagree. I, tiara flower smells, as I understand it, very similar to Plumeria. 
and uh, frangipani, isn't that right? Aren't they all kind of that buttery, sweet, thick, tropical kind of an aroma? Uh, I don't get that with this perfume at all. So the bergamot, the vetiver, the coconut, and the sandalwood, that is mainly what I get with this, which makes it very dry. It's a very dry coconut. So um, I don't picture that as very tropical either. And the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc is pistachio, bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, tuberose, ylang ylang, jasmine, coconut, amber, tonka bean, and benzoin. And I will say comparing these three makes me appreciate this one much more than I did prior because it really is about the coconut and the tropical flowers for me. Um, it doesn't have a big trajectory or anything. It pretty much stays that way. When it goes to the deep dry down, you get a little bit of maybe amber in there. There's a little bit of warmth um, that comes through that softens the sweetness because it does become the sweetest of the three. Mickey Mouse starts off the sweetest, but then Tom Ford quickly overtakes and stays that way between all three of them throughout the entire wearing. It's much more moist. This one I do picture as tropical because those flowers are thick and buttery and sweet like the flowers that I experience every year in Hawaii. So, and that coconut is, <clears throat> it's not a sweet coconut. It's more of a realistic, I think, coconut. I don't think any of them use any kind of sweet coconut or toasted coconut. It's all supposed to be, you know, cut the coconut in half and that's what you're kind of smelling. Now with the with the bronze goddess it's more of the shell that you smell with the coconut whereas the other two it's more of the meat of the coconut that you smell. So my least favorite is the bronze goddess because like I said there's there's almost the bottle is perfect for it because there's almost this metallicness that comes in in the deep dry down. Um, it becomes kind of boring in the deep dry down. Uh, whereas the top and the middle are the most interesting. Tom Ford's, his best is about half an hour, 15 minutes to half an hour after you've sprayed it for the rest of the wearing. That is the best part of it. With the Mickey Mouse one, I don't know that there's a best part. There is a bit of a trajectory with this one because of that sandalwood. It comes in the most in the deep dry down. It's more of the tartar notes, not teeth tartar, but tart -er. Um Notes in the cardamom and the coconut. I don't get a lot of orange blossom in this one. Um, if I did, I might like it more and I get no cacao, none whatsoever at all. Zip, zippo, zilch. So tonka bean, I don't really get any. And those are some of my favorite notes too. As far as performance, Tom Ford's beats them all. That one performs pretty well for me, even for a summer perfume. It goes eight to nine hours. It projects, oh, probably a little more than arm's length for the first hour, and then it comes in within arm's length for, I think, the rest of the wearing. The Bronze Goddess becomes a skin scent but that is in the name, so it is expected. Um, gosh, within half an hour to an hour, it's one of those that you really gotta get your nose up on to smell. It's a hugging perfume, I guess you would say, to where you can only smell it if you get a hug. So, and in the age of COVID, that's probably not gonna happen too often for a while. Um, and then the Mickey Mouse, it didn't perform very well for me either. It projects better than the Bronze Goddess. Um, it projects uh, within arm's length, probably, you know, two feet uh, for the first couple hours, but then it comes closer to the body within elbow's length. Um, and it stays there until it becomes a skin scent after about hour six. Not a great performer for the price, because that's like a $400 bottle of perfume. 
Tom Ford's, you know, you can get Soleil Blanc though on sale in a lot of places for like $100 for a 50 ml bottle. The Mickey Mouse one is a 100 ml bottle and it is a very designer, pretty blinged out bottle. Um, the Bronze Goddess, I don't think you can get the 2014 version, but you can get whatever the latest version is. And you can buy any of the Bronze Goddesses on all the discount perfume sites for next to nothing. I think under 50 bucks for 100 mLs. So, <clears throat> I'm disappointed, I will say, with the Mickey Mouse perfume. I, I didn't have high hopes for the juice, but I expected more than what I got. I really expected more of a gourmand with the cacao and the mandarin orange and the coconut and the vanilla and the tonka bean. I really expected to get some kind of gourmandy kind of a perfume, but this is not that. I think it's a little on the feminine side, but it's not as feminine as you would suspect from the bottle. The Soleil Blanc, I think that one is just a touch feminine as well because it's really heavy on those those uh, white florals. The Bronze Goddess I don't think is anything. I think it's unisex because it's kind of a dud in my opinion. Um, the top part is the most interesting. Uh, after about a half an hour for about an hour is the most interesting Bronze Goddess gets for me. <laughs> it bores me to tears. Okay, maybe not to tears but it bores me to sleep. So it's a good perfume to put on before bedtime because you'll be out within 15 minutes. Um, is the Mickey Mouse one worth it? No, not unless you are a bottle collector, not unless you are a huge House of Siage fan and want all of them and collect all of them. Other than those two things, I can't imagine who would go wacko over the juice and how it would be worth it for that $400 price tag. The bottle, again, is amazing. But if you bought the bottle without the juice, it wouldn't cost you $400, just saying. I think the Tom Ford one is the one most worth it for the price. Now the original price was probably like most of them are, 205, 210, right in there. It wouldn't have been worth it at that price. It just wasn't my favorite tropical perfume. And I would have paid that gladly for a favorite you know a really good tropical perfume but it's good it i don't love it i appreciate it more that i've compared it to two other perfumes it's supposed to smell similar but i still don't love it so um no to bronze goddess unless you're a bottle collector or a huge fan of the house of siage no to the mickey mouse but check out the soleil blanc tom ford if you really like white florals and coconut and on the verge of being a really good tropical perfume because you can pick it up, like I said, pretty inexpensively. Um, <clears throat> I am planning on doing, um, uh, just for insurance purposes, I want to inventory all of my perfumes, you know, take videos of how full they are, you know, the, the bottom of them, legitimacy, you know, all of that stuff, just in case you know, just in case. And um, I figured I'd edit it and maybe make it a collection video. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but um, God, that's gonna take a long time and it'd be a lot of parts. I mean, a lot of parts. Yeah, cause a thousand bottles of perfume takes a long time to inventory. I'm going to also inventory all my decants and stuff, um, but I probably won't film that because that will bore me to tears, let alone you. But I'm planning on doing that. I just don't know when I'm gonna get around to it. My job is going much better. I feel much more secure in my position. I've gotten most of my training done. It took a long time to get my training done because um, we're shorthanded and COVID was, kicking our butts. We were dropping about two employees a week for a while, but luckily uh, we were all vaccinated. So it was only like a really bad cold for a couple of days. And then once they felt better, you know, they had to stay home and be symptom free before they could come back after that fifth day. The team is really coming together where I work. Um, I am the lead and, you know, accepting a new leader, leader has to prove a lot. 
and um, I already knew they were a strong team so they needed to prove nothing to me but I needed to prove a lot to them and I feel like we're finally there that um, they're trusting me um, that I'm gonna advocate for them no matter what and I'm gonna be there for them. Things are going a lot better and I am pleasantly surprised and pleased by that. Besides, I really enjoy the patients that I work with um, where we give all the allergy shots and um, our patients are just amazing. Some of them are a hoot. So I'm really fortunate that things turned around for me in my job because yeah, maybe I'll even get to retire from there in 10 years. I can't believe I got to work another 10 years. <laughs> ah. Anyway, so that's it for this comparison and contrast video of House of Siage Mickey Mouse Special Edition. Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder 2014 edition, I believe. And Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. I hope you come back and join me soon. And I'll be back. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. And use your own nose. Peace.